Okay, wow. So, this is essentially take four. Um, I just tried going live three times on Instagram and going live with Chris and the universe said no. <sighs> I need to do a diary and I want to do it with Chris. Um, but apparently that's not what was supposed to happen. Um, I'll probably be doing a clubhouse room later. Um, let me drop into myself for a moment here. <sighs> My intentions and desires, why I was feeling like I needed to do this. So... I'm in quarantine. I've never been in quarantine. I've never had a holiday in quarantine. I've never had a holiday with my partner, Chris. I've never had to be with someone and not be able to really be near them and live with them and try to have a holiday. I've never had a holiday without my mom on this planet. Um, and, um, today, between yesterday and today, it was like the veil was lifted, you know, the gray matter in between the dark and the light. And um, I am navigating a lot of grief between my mom and going blind. Um, not having, not being able to dot, dot, dot. There's a long list of changes when you go blind. And then not having a mom. And for me, oh, here's a whole nother layer and level of feeling alone. And there's been some challenges in the air while great misunderstanding that led to deeper understanding between Chris and myself over the last whatever since sometime early this morning. And um, within that It just, I'm coming face to face with some harsh realities about myself and my mind and my life. Um, There's a lot of grieving and missing. I miss being able to see. I miss being able to 
participate in the world and get out of their spouse and go out and experience life and get back to life and the lives that I once did. Yes, I guess I don't have people to help pull me out and get me out of healthy learn how to be blind and so then get closer to living the life that I desire. well if I needed it. It's like I don't have family and Chris and his family are trying to remind me that it's still you, you know. And I just this whole family thing is kind of foreign to me, like I, it's something I've had to learn and develop and create and, you know, I feel like I'm not good at it. a big crack. It's a big <sighs> shift in what the one thing reached out and let me know I had family. back and hid for her a lot, protecting her. Unfortunately for me, there were many times when my mom was not able to be there for me. codependent and then I became super independent and now I'm trying to learn interdependence and I feel like I was doing it and I was doing good at it and 
is being blind in the level of reliance and need that I have. feels like a real heavy weight and pressure that I put on people like I feel like I have a lot of work I need my snap bag Hold on, I could go grab my snot rock. It's right across the way. <sighs> I've been crying a lot, so I'm a big believer in snot rags. I don't use paper towels or Kleenex. Just buy rags and beautiful, cute little vintage handkerchiefs. This one's all crustified from all my snots. <laughs> Ugh. Gross. Oh, see this one? Because it's all doily, it gets stuck, to, gets stuck in my piercing. Yeah, I feel like I have boogers. Hold on. <laughs> How am I blowing my nose in? But, okay. I hope I have no boogers. Okay. So, that's the other thing. I'm blind. I don't know what the fuck I look like. Um. My body hit menopause early and I'm experiencing a lot of changes in my body. That I can't see. But I feel. And it's validated medically. I am grieving my youth my femininity I'm grieving the potentiality of being a mother I am grieving my mother the list is loud man I have a lot of fucking grieving to do and uh I'm sick of it I don't know if anybody else out there, but, um, like, become disabled, lost an ability at one point in life, gone blind or something else, and you just feel like you go in and out of this grieving, like, I feel like there needs to be a specialized grieving fucking thing for dis people that have disabilities, um, Grieving a life once had, grieving abilities, grieving the fucking loss, man. <coughs> well, <sighs> I just, I can't see my mom, but I know she is across from me, her ashes, and just dropped in and. I get visions, spiritual visions, and answers. Um, I can't always put it into words. It comes in very fast. Um, and I just saw, like, <sighs> um, Yeah, I just essentially got a download of, you know, as I've been saying from the beginning of this when I found out that me and Chris were in quarantine and, you know, I'm, we're both sick, but he has RSV and I didn't or don't. And um, I'm, for me, I am just, I'm going to shift, transmute this sickness into medicine and 
you know, as and it's some fucking nasty ass medicine. Like some medicine, man, does not feel good or taste good in the palate and mouth. And that's the shit I'm getting right now. It hurts. Um, I want to punch shit. I want to throw things. I want to do a lot of not jolly joyous holiday things that I've had thoughts of doing today. <laughs> And, uh, scared the shit out of myself while got, got real with myself, um, and with Spirit and with Chris and... <laughs> I'm very humbled and essentially I want to say embarrassed, um, ashamed. I don't want to, but that's a reality. It's a feeling I'm carrying. I have shame in me about who I am and what I've become. And, um, I want to change. And I like I can see what needs to be done and I can see my potential while I'm still fucking scared and I don't know how and I feel like I'm gonna be making some changes and choices that are very uncomfortable for me that I might need to do right now. as much as I'm not happy with the situation, I, if there, I, I, I just keep getting visions of punching these windows, like the idea of punching these windows, like you probably see the look in my eyes, like how excited, how much rage is moving through me and how like oh, the idea of feeling my fist hit that window do you really hear the glass shatter and just yeah if you've never experienced the intense emotions that bring you to a place of intense visions that are <coughs> scary it's scary me and Chris to a wonderful Italian meal last night. And it's me and Chris met on Clubhouse. being able to uh, 
hug or touch or be with Chris. Like that's the other thing. It's like I can't see him and not being able to touch and hold and be near and feel and having all this distance. Making, it's pushing me to feel some of my deepest incompetencies and my fear of being alone, like I can't take care of myself. And without him, I'm all alone. I don't have anybody. I don't know how to manage and make new friends or family or, I don't know, it's fucked up. I feel fucked up. I feel... my nose one more time for you guys I hope somebody out there has a nose booger fetish but no I just want to drop it to myself and see if there's anything else left I really want to get out and share not just my boogers but I want to get those out for you <sighs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's it. I feel complete. I needed to do this. I didn't want to do this. I don't want to fucking feel this way. But, you know, trying to make myself feel something otherwise hasn't been going so well. I've been getting little glitz of it and then I'm just like, I need to diarrhea, I need to fucking fuck it. So I said yesterday, I, I, it all started yesterday and I was listening to people on Clubhouse talk about their amazing lives and I literally was just like, fuck you and your happiness, I don't want to fucking hear about it and I'm out to go find my happiness because it wasn't happening there they were pissing me off uh, they weren't doing anything I was just jealous and annoyed with myself and you know I love these people they're amazing I just you know but they understood and you know set me off with love and yeah so tried yesterday I got I did some I put on holiday I got halfway dressed and then again lost it and today I'm thanks to Chris was up late wrapping gifts for us in the home and the animals with the utmost joy and high big beautiful intentions in his heart so I just feel so blessed to have Chris and what you're also seeing is shame and guilt and just me feeling unworthy and uh, just this is something that happens for me around the holidays I don't have the ability to go shopping and on my own without someone's support and so, you know, unless I have other friends or people to help me, I can't, you know, shop for Chris. Uh, so I could do it independently. 
which I don't have my hand dependence right now, but stuff like that. Um, you know, I could have asked him to. No, no, no. I, but, and we've been sick. And we just did. doesn't matter. I, I'm just having a hard time and beating myself up. And, um, oh, okay. Now I'm really done. Is I'm just going to, um, to a place I don't want to go and I want to change the channel. Alexa, skip. So we're literally going to do that. Take a breath and then close this out. Okay. Alright. Uh, bye everyone. Much love and much gratitude to all of those that have been reaching out and um, sharing physically and metaphysically and doing everything you can to add to me and Chris's holiday. anything that this I don't know I need to say shit I'm done bye